Welcome to Ornaments of Grace, stories for Advent and Christmas. Each ornament is a short biographical sketch of someone living out God's Word in an extraordinary way. Each day we'll add one ornament to the tree, one person's story to help light up the way to Jesus. We pray you're uplifted by the diverse people featured, people from various religions, cultures, and times. We recognize that it's God's presence or grace shining through us that allows us, joined with the Christ child, to be gift for the life of the world. For we are all called to become ornaments of grace. The scripture for the first Sunday of Advent is taken from the Gospel of Luke. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray to have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. If you've ever raised, taught, or been around teens, if you recall what it was like being a teen yourself, and you'll recognize Edith Stein. You know, teens tend to question everything, even their faith, because they want to grow into adults who can make decisions based on what they understand. Edith was a very bright Jewish child who always wanted to get to the root of things. When she was a teen, she rejected God because she didn't see Jews or Christians living their faith, and she didn't want to pretend to be a believer. In her 20s, Edith studied under a philosopher who tried to explain the connection between the visible and the invisible world. And this whet her appetite for understanding more. She continued her studies, including Christian writers, taking some time to serve in a field hospital for typhus victims during World War I. She had been close friends with a Protestant couple while at the university, and later, when the husband of that couple was killed during the war, she went to visit his wife and recognized the grieving widow as a faith-filled woman. It was during this visit that she read the autobiography of St. Teresa of Avila, and this changed her life. She was baptized a Catholic in 1922. And when she told her mother, the two women wept together. Edith wanted to become a Carmelite nun right after that. But under the guidance of her spiritual director, she took private vows under the Bishop of Breslau, who urged her to go on speaking tours, even as she taught college courses. By 1933, the Nazis banned Jews from teaching, and Edith realized that it was time for her to enter the Carmelites. Her spiritual director agreed. She became Sister Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. While she continued writing books about philosophy, the saints, life in a Jewish family, and many other works, she led a life of holiness and self-offering. While she was often asked to lecture on very complicated philosophical topics, she said she really only had one, how important it is to learn to live in God's hands. As the Nazis closed in, she fled from her Cologne convent to another Carmelite monastery in Holland. But the Nazis rounded up all of the Jewish converts to Catholicism there and transported them to Poland. She was murdered in the gas chambers of Auschwitz on August 9, 1942. Edith Stein, St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, 
is our first ornament of grace. For that day will assault everyone who lives on the face of the earth. Be vigilant at all times and pray to have the strength to stand before the Son of Man. Observing the beautiful ornaments, what helps you to stay vigilant, to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus? What ways today can you choose the power of love over the love of power and violence.